What's up, y'all? This is Rock Land. Today on Passport Kings, we're going over the richest islands in the Caribbean. Engage. I'm Rock Land. I travel the globe making videos and recommending destinations. Join me so we can discover, preview, and book your next vacation. This is Passport Kings. Welcome aboard abroad. Subscribe and enable notifications so you can see all the other videos you may like. So of course in this countdown I didn't touch on the sun and fun aspects of these countries because it applies to them all. The dollar figures are the GDP or the PPP which is the purchasing power per capita. Alright so number 10 is Turks and Caicos. So this is a British overseas territory which consists of the Caicos Islands and the Turks Islands cluster. It is mainly known for tourism and as an offshore financial center. Import duties and tariffs are a major source of income collected by the government. Number nine, the Bahamas. The Commonwealth of the Bahamas consists of over 700 islands, keys, and inlets. It relies on tourism to generate most of the economic activity. The next most important is its banking and international finances sector. Favorable incentives have led the Bahamas to be the jurisdiction with the most offshore entities and companies. All right, number eight is Aruba. All right, so Aruba is in the Southern Caribbean and is one of the four countries that form the Kingdom of the Netherlands. The island's economy is dominated by tourism, aloe exports, and petroleum refining. Due to tourism's rapid growth, the construction industry is also strong. Aruba also has a prominent offshore banking presence. Number seven is Antigua. Tourism dominates the economy of this twin island nation with Barbuda and is known for its many luxury resorts. Investment banking and financial services also make up an important part of the economy. Antigua and Barbuda also uses an economic citizenship program to spur investment. Number six is St. Kitts and Nevis. St. Kitts and Nevis is the smallest sovereign nation in the Caribbean in area and population. It's dependent on tourism to drive its economy and in 1996 launched the St. Kitts Music Festival. St. Kitts and Nevis also features an economic citizenship program that offers large investor citizenships and other enticements. This episode is brought to you by what used to be called travel hacking, but is correctly named award stacking. Save thousands of dollars on flights while rapidly improving your credit. Personally, this system has changed my travel life. Right now, the system is over 50% off. Click the link above and start traveling nonstop for so much less. Number five is Trinidad and Tobago. The Republic of Trinidad and Tobago is a 10-island sovereign state that is the southernmost nation in the Caribbean. The World Bank recognizes it as a high-income economy. The economy is primarily industrial with the emphasis on petroleum, but most of its wealth is due to large reserves of natural gas and oil. Number four is the U.S. Virgin Islands. Tourism and other related categories are the primary activities in the U.S. Virgin Islands. Citizens here are also citizens of the U.S. Manufacturing is significant as well. The government is the single largest employer of this island cluster. Number three is Puerto Rico. The Commonwealth of Puerto Rico is an unincorporated territory of the U.S. and the population also has American citizenship. Regardless of what you heard, it is considered a high economy by the World Bank, and that's driven by manufacturing, finance, insurance, and tourism. This is a popular destination for meetings, incentives, conferences, and exhibitions, including a modern convention center district overlooking the port of San Juan. Recently, a crushing debt crisis and a slow recovery effort from Hurricane Maria have spurred many Puerto Ricans to move to the mainland U.S. Number two is the British Virgin Islands. The British Virgin Islands is an overseas territory with a population of 28,000. Since 2002, everyone here is also a British citizen. The twin pillars of the economy are tourism and financial services. Politically, tourism is most important, though most revenues are derived from offshore 
financial companies. And number one is the Cayman Islands. Caymanians have the highest standard of living in the Caribbean. The main source of income for the government is indirect taxation. There is no capital gains tax, income tax, or corporate tax. And an import duty or tariff is also applied to imported goods with very few exceptions. It is the fifth largest banking center in the world and is the home to many high net worth individuals. It is considered a major offshore financial haven and tourism and shopping are also important to this economy. And so what's your thoughts about those rich islands in the Caribbean? If you have a comment, be sure to leave it below. I love to read them. Don't forget to go to www.passportkings.com to pick up my free book called Make Money Online so you can travel more. And a lot of people want to call these islands third world. But once you get down there, you're going to realize that they'll treat you like a king of passport kings.